I think that every retailer fundamentally understands that not all their customers are equal and some that con some contribute significantly more to their revenue and their well-being than other customers. I think the challenge always is well, how to actually understand that and understand easily which ones they are without going off on a massive, massive analytics project. What we'll do here in the next few minutes is just show you how you can use 11 Ants Wrap to build a, um, a simple value segmentation module that uh, gives you a very powerful look at your customers and understanding of, of which ones are important and which ones aren't and, and then thinking about strategies to apply to the different groups. Um, so the module is called Customer Value Segment Module and it's all about building um, value segments for your customers. So first thing we'll do is we'll define the time period and um, you can see we can define um, weeks, months, years, what, what we'll do in this case is look at a two year period and we're going to look at uh, the customers, re the reason there's two periods defined here is that we can look at um, behaviour in the last year and also the year leading up to that so we can sort of look at migration and change which is always interesting. So the first thing we need to do is select the time period, the second thing is to push the button analyze data. So it's just built a built the model and um, you can see it's returned to us a, a 4 by 4 chart with four quadrants and I'll, I'll just explain what these are. If we look on the x-axis we've got the revenue per purchase occasion which is the um, the amount spent every time a customer comes into the store over the last year and then what we've got on the on the y-axis is the number of purchase occasions so how often do the customers visit and so we can see that the median number of visits in the last 12 months was 27 and the median number of uh, the median spend was 9527 so by breaking our customers into approximately four evenly sized groups we can find those that spend the most um, and come in the most often. So we'll start with this this group here that the most valuable customers and Rep will label them um, you see the four labels that we have. Um, this group is the group that comes in the most often and they spend the most. So we call them take good care of me because they're our most important customers and as you'll see that the numbers would indicate that it's 25% of our customers generating 62% of our revenue so that's 5,000 customers delivering about 60 million dollars worth of revenue um, these are customers we really need to look after. There's a few other metrics about these customers, what the average revenue per customer is, uh, the average purchase occasions, and the average revenue per purchase occasion. Conversely, if we go to this group, um, here these are our least engaged customers. They come in the least often and they spend, and, and that also is supported by the numbers. We've got 25% of our customers who only generated 2.5% of our revenue. If we look at this group here, give me more reasons to visit. These are this is an interesting group that come in not that often, but when they do come in, they spend a lot of money. So a strategy with that group would be to try to get them in more often. Um, we could probably afford to give them freebies, etc., to try to get them in the door more often because they will spend a lot when they come in as opposed to this group here that get more of me when I visit. Now this group here, they come in often but they don't spend very much when they come in. And our strategy with them should be to try to extend out or build their basket. So you can see we've got four different um, types of customers or four value segments and we'll apply different strategies to all of them. Now all that was from the baseline period, so that's from the um, year one. And the most recent year is year two. So if we scroll down, we call this the post intervention period, assuming that we've done interventions through the year. And then we're interested to see how, how things have changed, how, how many people we've sort of moved from one group to another. And so what we can see is that in this case, our entire business has grown. Um, we've grown every one of our segments. Um, can note that we've grown, um, take good care of me at less than average. So we seem to have grown. Um, to get more of me when I visit the most as well as help me take you seriously but we might have seen in some cases what we're really trying to do is we're trying to grow this quadrant as much as we can and, and migrate people from these other quadrants into that um, so intervention should be aimed towards that with that goal in mind um, if we look at the um, the last part of this module uh, it's quite helpful in as much as it shows us a specific migration of um, customers from one group to the other so P1 simply means period 1 P2 means period 2 so P1 was the baseline period P2 was the post intervention period and we can look at how many customers move from each group so for example we can see that um, 100 customers in, that were take good care of me's in period 1 turned into take us more seriously in period 2 
Um, we could also see that 50 of our customers who would take good care of us, our best customers in period one, actually didn't show up at all, spent nothing with us in period two. So that's a group that may be well worth spending um, a reasonable amount of money and trying to retain because it will win back because they're our best customers. Whereas, for example, this group here, we may not spend as much if any money on trying to win these customers back because they, they're just not big contributors anyway. So that sort of gives us a summary overview. Um, the next thing we can do is is by, by clicking this button we can actually um, identify every single customer. So in this case there's about 30,000 customers and when I click on that it's just dump that information to a text file which we'll drag over here and we can see here what that looks like um, customer identifier and then uh, what their what their label was in in period one take good care of me in this case and also in period two is take good care of me so every single customer has got a label um, which we may then export into our CRM system likely we would just export the period two label which was the most recent one and so what I did would um, say delete um, the column from period one export the customer identifier and what their value segment was in period two into our CRM system and then our CRM system would have a new a whole new um, depth of data about our customers that we never had before so we could understand at a glance any customer that we're dealing with which segment they fell into and we could be applying strategies to them um, and identifying them as how important they really were to our business hopefully that's been of some help to you I think the main um, takeaway I want to get is how fast we were able to build this module or this model the segmentation model um, literally it's a matter of a few minutes and literally the skill level does not need to be high and push a few buttons and we've built this this model and we've got a, a rich new piece of information about our customer base based on that Thank you very much. If you've got any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact us anytime. We'd be very happy to talk to you more about it at 11 Ants Analytics. Thanks a lot. Bye.